Hi, my name is Bilal from Dallas, Texas. I'm 22 and this is Financial Audit. So what do you do for a living in uh, Dallas, Texas? Um, I'm a Starbucks assistant store manager, which is a Starbucks store manager. It's just like a temporary position for training. It's supposed to last for like six months. This explains all the Starbucks spending. Uh, um, so, yeah. So, yeah. We tried to cut back. We bought, got like an espresso machine when we first went on leave. And like we go get coffee. You and your like, roommate, you and your yeah, my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. go get coffee like maybe once, maybe twice a week on bad weeks. But yeah, okay. we cut okay. back. So is this an hourly or salary position? Um, once you accept ASM position, it's technically salary, but you still get paid overtime. What's if you your salary? Overtime, oh, forty-seven six hundred. And then once you're a store manager, I think from what I've been told, it's like a twenty percent increase. And that's what you're on track to do. That's what you want to do. Um, yeah, I was. Once I go back now, starting Monday. It'll be like three weeks to kind of like to get my feedback into it and then I'll apply for a store manager position. Oh, okay. Very cool. And that overtime, I mean, what do you think you're bringing home? Bringing home after taxes and everything on a monthly basis. What are we looking at? Um, it was 1400 biweekly after taxes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so 2800 a month. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel living off of that in Dallas? Um, not bad. I mean, I didn't live by the time I was living with my family. So rent was cheap and my expenses were to the, like at a minimum. What do you mean at the time? What about now? So now I live with my girlfriend. So okay. we both went on leave, um, December 8th. Cause so she had a two year old, um, and I was dating her for almost like two years and he had passed December 8th. So wow. we, yeah. So we both went on leave, uh, December 8th. So we both have been kind of on leave since then until now she's been back at work since last Monday mm -hmm. and I go back this Monday. How's she doing? That's, that's um, horrible. Better now. We tried going back to work in like February 28th. It was still too soon. So too we soon. went okay. on leave again. Um, so at first, the first month we used like whatever vacation time we had. And then after that, we were kind of using like the FMLA where you get like 66% of your pay. Mm -hmm. So the pay wasn't the same. So like for the past yeah. six months, I was getting paid like $1,077. Yeah. Um, and, um, and now how, how are you doing? Are you going back? Um, yeah, I go back this Monday. Um, and how are you doing? Better here and there. Um, it's very weird. Um, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, for me, like I've dealt with grief before and losing a loved one. She hasn't. So it was hard on her. It's very difficult. Um, yeah. Especially when it's like. Did your, you guys have a good kid. support system around you during this whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Her, her parents were close. They live in Austin. So they're care of any mental health therapy, stuff like that. Yeah. We both, good. um, she's still seen a therapist. Um, I've seen a therapist, psychiatrist. We've, you know, done it all. Cool. And still, everyone should always still doing what, it. But, yeah. yeah. You'll see some of that on there. Sure. So how would you currently as honest, and open as you can describe your financial situation right now and then give yourself a score zero out of 10. I've been thinking about this entire drive. Uh, I would say like maybe a, Four, okay, because of the current situation, but there's definitely potential, like the income. Well, we're not looking at potential yeah. necessarily. Then yeah, definitely a four. Where you are, okay, yeah. and describe your situation. Um, she brings in. I don't care what she brings in. What about you? So, oh me, okay. So I bring in fourteen hundred now, and then it'll be a twenty percent increase. So we combine our expenses and our no, income. Just, what's your situation right now financially? Um, I'm confused with the question. I thought it was like a four. Um. No, no, no. What is your situation? Oh, like overall? Yeah. Um, okay, floating by. It's not great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, we should look at your checking account then and start diving into this and see, is it a 4 out of 10, what your financial situation is and everything like that. But first, you should hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. We're getting uh, pretty darn close because all of you are absolutely amazing. So thank you to everyone so far. Mm -hmm. So we start with $1,480. This is insane and completely different than your 2,800, but 10,740 went in. Were you getting support from family? Uh, no. Uh, okay, because you were getting Zell's in of like 1,400. Zell in 1,400. Zell in 45 and 5. You're just getting so much Zell 
in. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was talking about when I said we combined our finances. So Oh, I think I missed that. Yeah, so she sends me whenever she gets paid, she just like kind of sends it to me and all the bills Whoa, are like I don't my, necessarily like that cuz he's a girlfriend. We're, um it's it's pretty serious, um Congratulations, but, but um yeah, I get what you're saying. So like we're thinking we were really talking about this like yesterday of doing it a different way. She has another checking account, so we're just going to use that checking out for the bills and then have our separate like savings and separate checkings. Yeah, I would yeah. just because there's no legal agreement. Yeah, that, that's, that's the risk. That was yeah, that was literally the conversation. It's not we some had. social thing of yeah, no, and I stuff understand. Like that. It's the Spe- legal protections. Like, not to be like morbid, I was like, what if like something happens to me? Like all the money's under my name, and yeah, you'll be yeah, screwed. or yeah. you know, fun fact, people break up. Yeah, no, Even exactly. Divorce, what's the divorce rate in the United States? Like fifty percent and something yeah. crazy. So um, imagine what it's like before yeah. you even get married. So mm. that is just bad for her. Yeah. So yeah, she sent all the money, but. Even still, eleven thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars went out, ending with three thirty-nine. You went from thousand five hundred to three thirty-nine. Yeah. So we're 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 just kind of draining. So the checking, uh, yeah, I kind of use it just like bring like kind of just to get the deposits, and then I use it to send the money to the savings. No, but over the past few months since December, when you guys took a leave, though, we've just been kind of. Uh, I using. Do a whole. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's sponsor, Course Careers. If you want to start a high paying career in the technologies industry, but you don't have the experience or the degree, Course Careers is here to help. They're replacing college as the modern way people are starting careers, and it's so simple. All you need to do is go through an affordable online course where you learn everything required to actually do the job. Then they help you land a position by partnering with companies who drop their degree and experience requirements to hire Course Careers graduates into entry level positions and internships. Check out some of their stories of people like Nyla who went from being a 19-year-old Starbucks barista to making over $60,000 in a remote technology sales career. Or Josh who went from being a college dropout working in retail to making $140,000 just six months after completing course careers. So go to coursecareers.com, which is linked in the description below, to sign up for the free introduction course where you'll learn exactly how you can start a high-paying technology career without a degree or previous experience. And make sure to use the code HAMMER50 to get $50 off on the full course, and all of this is linked in the description below. Thank you again to Course Careers for sponsoring this episode. Um, initially, and then mid, like March is when we start pulling out of the hole. Okay. Um, so there's some recovery there. Let me guess, there was no emergency fund? Um, no. That's the importance of emergency yeah. funds. We did start one, though. Good. In, like, February, whenever I was like, yeah, we're kind of Well, screwed. we'll talk about that. Yeah. But even still, Starbucks, okay, the vast majority of the time in here is just paying off cards and paying bills and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what the majority of this is. But we are doing $109 at Starbucks. Come on, this was so that's, you money. That's the insurance. $215 from Starbucks. Is that the insurance as well? Um, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. That's the insurance. That's when I when we went back to insurance work. Insurance takes it twice? I went to leave. Um, that, it got Why does charged. it take it from your checking account? Why doesn't it take it before you get paid, like out of your pay? So, so when you go on leave, you're getting paid from like Cedric, the benefits okay. company. So you're still paying for your benefits out of pocket. So that's us paying for our so the benefits twice, out of pocket. So 215 and 109? 109 was hers and 215 was mine. So now, why'd both. you send your girlfriend 1,500 if she's sending in a lot of money? Um, I don't think I sent her 1,000. I think she sent it to me. Uh, well, I guess I don't bleep the name. But yeah. Oh, that's that's her mom. That's the rent. That's the mortgage. So 1500 is our mom? mortgage. Uh, so is your mortgage? Wait, does she own the house? The house is owned. It's under her parents' name. Okay. Um, that's there's more. It's a complicated situation. Um, but the mortgage is under her parents' name. So we pay the mortgage to her parents. Okay, we'll talk about that. Yeah. What is this? Uh, my Chase Loan CR Edit card. Three thousand dollars came in. Yeah, so that was for one of the credit cards that had a high interest. So what I did was I took a loan on the other, on one of the credit cards that I have, like the available limit, which was a nine percent to kind of lower the interest 9%. rate. Nine percent versus right. you know versus twenty three percent. Yeah, so, so of yeah, course, of course. so I was kind of like da- do damage control when we were like deep in the hole to kind of get out of it. In and Out Burger. 10 bucks. Uh, talk, er, talk. Talk a tree. That's the therapy. Okay, good. Psychiatry, sorry. And I'm definitely good with that. Definitely good with that. But again, everything else yeah. is payments and Zells. So many Zells and so many card payments. 
Now, I don't have a statement for this emergency fund. What is the emergency fund um, at? It's with American Express. It's like a high yield savings account, like okay. 3.9 or 3.8%. What's it at? Uh, 2,500, 2,600 now. So it's not a lot. Just your money? It's both of our money. It's not how that, who, yeah. who is it under? Uh, mine. So all the finances are under my name. That was kind of like when it's like in December. I she's kinda, in, she's putting herself in a stupid position doing that. Um, yeah, that was whenever like everything happened. I kind of took over the finances because that was just too much. And now we're like slowly. How like, much of that is separating? Hers? Um, the twenty five hundred. Um, a thousand of it was mine before we joined finances, and in the fifteen hundred we saved together. So how much of it is hers? Um like a thousand of the 1500 okay yeah no yeah um it's a messy situation it's been messy for the last six months but i was kind of like trying to keep both of us afloat until we get back to work and now that we're back to work we're yeah okay we have credit cards yeah a lot of credit cards that's pretty much all i have left here Mm -hmm. is just credit cards so immediately so obviously you guys dug yourself in a hole right yeah because four hundred five dollars starting, you made a forty dollar payment, which was probably the minimum monthly payment. But then we did a thousand eighty five dollars of purchases on it. Which card is that? This is the Freedom card. Now, you lost six dollars and fifty cents in interest, mm-hmm. leaving you with a balance of a thousand four hundred fifty seven dollars. Mm-hmm. Why, if we are losing money to interest, are we possibly? Possibly taking it from four hundred five dollars to a thousand five hundred dollars. Why is that even in our head if we're trying to get out of a hole? Um, trying to remember what happened that month. I couldn't tell you. Um, I'll tell you. Yeah, we can like pull up the transactions. Yeah, it's it's basically all DoorDash, Michaels, then, yeah. In and Out, PlayStation, Apple Bills, McDonald's, News East, Sounder Mind Sessions. That's therapy as well. Yeah. Oh, that's therapy. Okay, that yeah. sounded like. Well, after you said it, that sounds like therapy. I was thinking it was music at first, but that makes sense. AKC store, Coit Smoke and Vape. Yeah, that's what we need when we're digging out of a hole is spending $45 there. It's a great habit, by the way. Starbucks, giving them $6.30. By the way, this supposed to be giving you money. Yeah. Um, the therapy thing, good. Well, we're, we're doing that. What I put it on a credit card when I'm trying to dig out of a hole, maybe not. Yeah. Apple Bills and Michael's stores. We're going to Michael's a bunch and we're spending a lot of BS. Now we do have some groceries in here as well, but again, would I be putting on a credit card if we're losing six dollars fifty cents? And it's gonna be even more next month because this is twenty nine percent APR and we're putting more money on it, vastly more money on it yeah. than we're paying towards it. Yeah. Um Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we putting money on it when we're trying to get out of it? I need to know the mindset behind this so we can at least combat it, come up with a plan. It was again like Still, because we weren't sure. So for the benefit for the leave, every month we had to get it extended. So we had to like kind of wait until it's approved to know that we're getting paid or not. Um, so that was kind of like using the credit card to stay afloat. Um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the smartest. But why did you cut back on things? We're doing. Why are we doing? Why are we door dashing in Michael Zin and all those other things that I already went through and giving Starbucks money? Why are we doing that if we know we're bringing in what sixty six percent of the income or yeah. whatever it was? The DoorDash, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. We canceled both of the plans, so we don't use it anymore. Um, Good. Uh, the Michaels. She started uh, crocheting just out of boredom of being home. So. Mm-hmm. Just go buy yarn. That's literally what that's for. Um, but yeah, the Starbucks again. Yeah, we just again. We we're st- there were days where we were. And the other stores are still checked out and spending and money. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that's definitely those. there. Um, we can't be doing that. If we're trying to get out of debt. Yeah, that's we, that's we can't be considering that acceptable. Yeah, I agree. Now we have a Freedom Flex. That's funny how I got those two cars. The Freedom. I had applied for the Freedom, and then right after that, they canceled it, and they just sent me the Freedom Flex. So I had ended up with both. Well, you ended up with three thousand two hundred eighty-one dollar balance on here with a thirty percent interest. So right three thousand thirty dollars of interest. Yeah, three thousand of that is the loan, which is at nine percent. You so you transferred onto here or to somewhere else? The um, loan is somewhere else. The loan was to pay off. Yeah, another card. So, so the loan is somewhere else. Yeah, the loan was the the three thousand that was into the. So checking. what's the balance on here now? Two thousand eight. Um. So the loan came into your checking, then you paid off three thousand dollars of this. The loan came out of this into the checking, and I used it to pay off another credit card. So it's kind of like a balance transfer, but not really. Okay, so the interest on this card is only 9% for yes. that? Yeah. 
for a certain percentage for of it. Three percent, for the 3,000 of it. For the 3,000, and then we still have $281. And you did $222 of purchases. Why are we doing that? $301 of payments, but then $222 of purchases. If we're paying interest on this with 30% interest being accrued, guess what? You're giving $11 to Starbucks. Guess what? You're giving $10 to Starbucks. Some auto charges. It looks like they're toll roads. Don't take freaking toll roads if we're trying to get out of a bad situation. Yeah. Take the side roads. Take an yeah. extra five, ten minutes. I don't care. You're trying to get out of a poo situation. There's just places in Dallas that you can't get to without taking a tollway. BS, because uh, yeah. I live in a tollway city too. You can always turn off tolls on Google Maps and it will take you longer. But whatever you lose in gas is not this $40, not this $20. Come on. And again... Credit cards, if we're trying to get out of it, why are we putting it on credit cards to begin with? And then, yes, you had transfer charges of $19 as well, plus interest. And then you're losing 9% on that, so it's still bad debt. Yeah. Better? Better, yes. Yeah, um, I'm glad you did that, but don't think just because you did that, all of a sudden we're good. Yeah. We're not good. Overall, it was just damage control, but it wasn't enough damage control, so yeah. This is why we have emergency funds. This is why you have emergency funds. So when something dramatic happens, which I totally understand and sympathize with, it doesn't put you in a situation where you put yourself into a bad hole that is hard to climb out of when you're trying to get out of it. And that's when you were making like 60% of the income still. It's not like your income completely went away and yet we still yeah. went into a hole. So this is why we have emergency funds. So mm -hmm. thank you for being on here to uh, you know demonstrate a situation to the audience. That's very important. Now we have a Sapphire card. So with this one, okay, this is a little better. We had $1,000, we paid it off, but then we made $1,160 in purchases, leaving us with a balance of 836, which I hope you pay off because there was no interest charge on this, but I hope you pay it off. Is this in an interest-free period or are you just always paying this off? Uh, it, it, it doesn't have interest-free, but it is paid off. Good, good. Now, why are we holding balances on those other cards when we're going here into Jack in the Box, GameStop, who even goes there? You're floating the mean stop, uh, mean stock for everyone else, because who goes into GameStop? It looks like it's from the 70s at this point. Early Bird, Early Bird, Taco Deli, GameStop again, Starbucks, Michael Store, Starbucks, Starbucks, again, they're supposed to be paying you, Top Pot, Chick-fil-A, Hippo Beverage, Apple Store, Apple Store, Apple Bills, Apple Bills, Michael Stores, Dutch Bros, Good Friend, Ikea, and Smoke and Vape. We're going back to Smoke and Vape for $50. Terrible habit. Why do these green lines exist if you're trying to pay off other things? You're smiling. Is this a joke to you? No, no. It's, it's, it's serious. It's just looking at it. I'm just like, yeah. Smile, cope, yeah. So th th all these green lines. Yeah. All these green lines. Why? You have those debts. You had to transfer $3,000 somewhere because you couldn't pay it off. Yet we are going to all those things. Why? I need to know your mindset or we can't overcome it. Um, again, a lot of it was just... We're both kind of staying home. We're just trying to find things to do. Um, the GameStop, yeah, I had bought a PlayStation and I was just like playing games that I just thought of playing. Um, but yeah, overall, there's no... I mean, again, there's no excuse for it. I just... We did it, and now getting out of yeah, it. Yeah, but what can we do to make sure we're not? Um, took the cards off of um, Apple Pay, so the cards are no longer in Apple Pay. So we don't. So it doesn't make it easier to pay with. Um, yeah. Have you chopped up the cards? You guys are not credit card people. So it's not an emergency it fund. Definitely, is it's not. So prior to like all this, I was in a good financial state, and then I wasn't. Um, you weren't in a good financial state. You didn't have an emergency fund. Instead, you were probably spending money on credit cards, paying them off. But guess what? You didn't cut back on anything enough to save up for an emergency yeah. fund. And then when something bad happens, which happens in life, and mm. I feel absolutely terrible that that happens, but bad things will happen all throughout life, you didn't set yourself up for a position to be able to combat that because you kept spending bullshit on credit cards or anywhere. Yeah. So, no, you were not in a good financial position. Yeah. Having Not having an emergency fund is an emergency. Yeah. So what do we do to combat that going forward? Um, I got an emergency fund started. Started. Yes. But your portion is incredibly minimal. Um, yeah. It started months ago now. Um, yeah, it uh, was... Almost three. Yeah. It's not where we want it 
to be for sure um well of course not but so our what we plan on doing now is getting that whatever's in that savings account to like at least five thousand to have that as like our emergency fund in case like either of us stop the r stop so the r dude we are can't. we are splitting it we are we're starting our individual savings account but we're still gonna keep that cushion in case of something happens again um why don't you just get married Go to the courthouse. So there's a lot, there's more that goes into this. Um, there's a lot more that goes into it. So part of the reason like the finances are on my side or my on my end because her credit got kind of screwed. Um, whenever so Christopher the uh, the son he was born with like a heart a heart disease or heart oh, issue. Wow. So he had SLHS. So he was mm-hmm. born with, like half a heart. So that put her in like massive Jeez. like medical debt. So that's what kind of screwed her credit score. Um, so we kind of relied on my credit and we both p- are paying it off um, was the idea behind it. Mm-hmm. And part of like not getting married is if we do, it, we don't want it to like get to me or get to my credit in any way. And your credit still your credit. The If you guys got into things together, mm-hmm. that's where it could impact. Like... If she co-signed for something for you, obviously that would bring it down. Yeah. Your credit's okay. It's over 700 even though you're in stupid debts. Yeah. Uh, I think because it's, the system is just... Yeah. It's just my what's credit, her credit score? The credit limit. Hers? Um, I don't know the exact number, but I know it's not great. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Either way, you guys cannot, no matter what you just said, mm-hmm. cannot be combining these things just because it puts her in a bad spot. Yeah. And that's just not fair to her. Yeah. And if you get married, then we have legal protections. Yeah. We can do those kind of things, and it's it makes much more sense. Yeah. No, um, in the moment, I was just kind of like trying to navigate it with whatever we thought was best or will keep us afloat the most. And now part of the reason I'm on the show is, aside from just like financial transparency, um, to kind of see how we can do it differently as like aside from like the combined bills or the well, combined first, stop savings giving starbucks all your money yeah yeah um aside from combining things how we can do it individually um and then how i don't know how to navigate getting out of this hole so she works at starbucks too it sounds like yeah she's also a store manager a store manager different store uh yeah okay so similar incomes hers is more than mine because she, oh she's yeah. the store manager your assistant yeah and she has experience so she her income is more than mine then you have the separate accounts. She mm-hmm. doesn't give you money anymore. What you can do on grocery shopping trips, this is totally fine. One person pays, the other does half. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, Venmo's the half or something like that. Yeah. And same with rent. One person can pay. Maybe put it on hers mm-hmm. and then you pay. And then, you know, depending, uh, some, it depends on the agency, but I know. People are trying to push for paying for rent to help credit. Can't promise that today for anything. Mm-hmm. She could use the Fizz card. Right? I mean, either way, yeah. she's not here. Um, but what you can do is you can split things like utilities and rent yeah. and stuff like that. But not in one account. Someone pays for it. The other person Venmo's yeah. and stuff like that. But we, what she had suggested was if we use one, of, she had the checking account that she doesn't use, and she was thought, she had mentioned if we use that, we both pay a portion of our paycheck, a percentage, because we don't make the same into that checking. That would be for the bills. I just um, no, just one person pays for it, and just yeah. Venmo's the other person. Yeah. Stop putting each other's money into each other's accounts. Right. Yeah, just pay for it and pay back the portion. Discover it. It's paid off now. Good, it better be, because $23.90 of interest. It was only a $90 balance at the time of it. We got $2,000, or $3,000. You paid it off, but then you did $218. This is what screams at me, not a credit card person, because even still, you didn't fully pay it off in time to not get hit by the interest. $23.90. Yeah. That's just going to continue. If we do that once, and it's only within the last couple months, within the last month, yeah, within the last month, then guess what? That's going to happen again, most likely. Yeah. Credit cards doesn't make sense for you. I just don't want you to lose money, and you're losing money. 708 is your credit score on here. Good. Yeah. I'm sure you're happy about that. But in the end, what matters most is you're not getting sucked dry, and you keep failing on this. Yeah. And again, 
There's other balances to pay off. Yeah, on here, Amazon, Apple subscriptions, Apple subscriptions, Amazon, Amazon, Jimmy John's, Smoke and Vape. So we go there a ton now across the different accounts. Starbucks, give you money. A K C store. Okay. Yeah. Uh, You know it's not a gas station. Uber Eats. Uber Eats and Michaels popping in and out. That's that's a lot of crocheting across all these accounts and in and out burgers. So you go to a burger that doesn't even taste like food. You know I used to like it until I just didn't. It just doesn't taste. Until you develop taste buds. Yeah. That happens sometimes. Terrible. That's funny. Burger. Nah, it's an okay burger. It's just there's so many better places. It's just cheap, and it's there's one like literally across the street from it's our cheap. house within walking distance. Gotta give them, gotta give them the cheap. Yeah. And blue cash again. This so is yeah, um, this one has the highest balance, but also the lowest interest. What it's do you like, mean highest balance? The other one was over three thousand. What's the balance on this guy now? So, um, again, not having a. Emergency fund. So there was um, some dental work that we had to get done. Some emerg- some okay, emergency dent- in here, yeah. dental work. Yeah. So that what cost the most. Uh, but I put it on the Amex um, that happened after. I think after the statement. It was emergency. One hundred percent needed in that moment. Dental yeah, work. Yeah. Uh, and they broke it down in like three different ones. So there's you only see one of the payments. So there were total of like three payments. What's the balance? Um, right now, if the Amex, I think it's like thirty five hundred. But it's on a 3% interest until September. Till September. Yeah. September is going to come real quick. Yeah. Um, so right now we just... I was going to say you lost $2.15 of interest. Yeah. It's not crazy, but September is going to come real quick. And then it's mm-hmm. probably going to be, what, mid-30s. And guess what? We spent money on Michaels as well. Yeah. Oh, but we got that reversed. But then we went to Ainland. Now... The dental isn't stuff that I notated because if it's a dental emergency, that's an emergency. Yeah. You pay for it. That's not BS spending. But what is is coffee and taco shop and hippo beverage and chilies. Chilies. We're giving them money instead of paying off cards. Island coffee roasters and Jacob's Ice and crazy vapor. Come on, dude. Yeah. With that Kick that addiction, dude. That's just bad for you in general. And Because, uh, yeah, that's 43 bucks. Yeah. Bad for the lungs. Bad for your overall health, bad for your wallet. We spent well over like 150 bucks now on that in total for the month. Five below, Island something, Canyon Cree. It's a, yeah, coffee shop. No, oh, yeah. yeah. You guys love your coffees. Michael's. What happens when you're working coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Coin Ledger. JJ Gifts and Sportswear. Jack's Fifth Shop. DoorDash. Great. And again, taking the tolls, another hundred eight dollars in tolls, so like almost three hundred bucks in tolls. Yeah, because you don't want to go a little longer. I promise, gas will not make up for that. So this is crap, all around. I mean, you paid like hundred bucks in interest now over this whole thing, and it's going to be well over that once September comes around. We're not, and we don't make progress because we're not making progress, not very much progress, because yeah. we continue to spend so much money well beyond our means. And combining accounts, making things very confusing. And it's just, right now, it's just a mess that we need to yeah. solidify. $8,328.61 of debt. Yeah. Bad debt. No, yeah. Not anything good in here. Do you have a car loan? Uh, yes. You didn't send me the statement. I, okay. So I could, it wouldn't, yeah, I, it wouldn't load. I, I sent it in the initial yeah. email. It's on the initial email, but the statement wouldn't send. Um, I get a billion emails. I don't know. That's fair. Um, I can pull it up though, and I can tell you about it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at this. What what is the what's the car? It's a uh, it's twenty twenty Mitsubishi Outlander. Um, okay, continue. Um, and then what's the remaining balance? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand eight hundred. Uh, and the interest rate is uh, it's like six point seven. Mm-hmm. It's not great, but it's not. So basically, seven percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Minimum monthly payment. Uh, three ninety-two. Term length. I think it was like, I don't remember. I think it was like sixty-two. Any other hidden debt, student loans, anything naughty no that I'm not loans. seeing? Um, no student loans. No. Um, no other hidden debts. I have a Corolla that has two thousand left on it. To Why? Pay. Why? It. Why? Um, that's it. That should be all. But why? Um, I had a car accident, um, a year ago. 
Um, I did, and it paid it off, and then I had it just covered. It was like literally right after I bought the car, so it just was as if I didn't buy the car, and that's where I lost the down payment money. Oh um, no! But then I had to buy the Corolla. And a monthly payment in interest. Um, the monthly payment is like two fifty. Interest. Um, I think it's like eight percent. I had to like do the maths for it because it was like from a You're small. You're probably approaching shirt. the end of where that interest is being. Yeah, the there's like principal. two thousand left on it. Yeah, your total minimum monthly payments. Uh, well, now they're worse. Yeah, damn. Because we, this was gonna be relatively easy to clean up. It just got more complicated. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's kind of why I came on the show to know how, like, where to start or what cancel your to subscriptions do. that are 130 bucks a month for things you don't need. Vape shops 150, all the different Apple charges 189 dollars, tolls 169 dollars. So stop those. Yeah, mm-hmm. that dental really added up. Absolutely. Yeah, we went out to eat 602 dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of money for 2800 dollars a month beyond with all those categories. Yeah. So. What you're going to have to do, and you already know this because you've watched the show, but you can't go to you can't get coffee anymore temporarily, yeah? Yeah, which is fine because we're back to working in coffee. Um, it's fine? No, like cutting back on coffee is like okay. fine with that. Okay, all the other yeah. restaurants? Yeah. If we you say that so easily. Um, the attempt has been there. It wasn't great, that's for sure. But now we've been at work eight hours a day. Um, we just... We have work is pay, food is paid for at work. You get like a meal every shift, and then we are getting groceries from Costco to like meal prep every week. Mm. So now your total debt is like thirty thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars. Went from eight thousand to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's not fun. No, thirty one thousand actually, with minimum monthly payments of seven sixty nine fifty. Which is, and you're just applying for the next job, and so who knows if you're gonna get it? I hope you get it. I hope you get it. Oh but. no, it's um. So that's the position. The the position I'm in right now is just like the training position, and they would like to only keep you on it for six months. So the day he passed was the day I was literally doing my second interview for the job. Yeah. So this is just like the training position, and then like you get the job after that. Your interview okay. for it and get the job. Well, right now, your minimum monthly payments on debts, forty seven percent. Mm-hmm. Or I'm sorry, what? Uh, 27% okay. of your take-home pay. Yeah. So half of your, more than half of your needs categories is taken away for you paying off money that mm-hmm. you already spent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's bad. So essentially, what's your portion of rent? Your portion of rent. Uh, I guess it would be 750 Not bad. Yeah. Your portion of utilities, internet, gas, electric, all those. Your best mm-hmm. guess. I have it all written down, like how much everything okay. cost. And then you'll have to budget more specifically after this. Yeah, because that's so, yeah, for the, again, for the six, last six months, we didn't do uh, your portion, my portion. That's why it got complicated. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do now. Yeah, absolutely. No, um, we're and we're both that. on board on it. We're both on the same page. Good. Um, let me find it real quick. Internet used to be 100. It's now 50. Electric is about... Uh, your portion. Oh, my portion, I guess, will be 25. Okay. And then electric, 50... Water, 50, and gas is like, varies, like 40. It's again for my portion. So 165 for utilities. Okay, very good. Now, your portion of the groceries will be no more than... 150. Your portion of the groceries, yeah, we'll do 200 because you're going to be right. cooking a little more because yeah. a lot was out to eat. We broke it to like 300 a month to spend on groceries. You can do that. You can yeah. do that. We're just going to say 200 for now. Okay. Just... With where things are, and you'll be cutting back on other things. So just being a little more realistic. Yeah. Toilet paper spending, also known as things you need to operate the household. Your portion, 50. That's fine. So dish soap, all that good stuff. 50 a month. Your portion. Because it'll be split. Normally I'd do 100, but you'd be fine with that. Car insurance, says? Um, no car insurance. Mine, um, about 125, I think. Okay. And then you're back at work, so health insurance will be taken out of your paycheck. Yeah. Paycheck. Um, any other ongoing monthly expenses that you can think of? Do you have ongoing therapy? You should. I should definitely go back. Um, right now, I only have psychiatry, which is about thirty bucks a uh, visit. How often? Um, once a month ish. About one, once a month. So yeah. Um, we'll keep doing that at a minimum. 
Yeah. Therapy, I'll go back to it. It's covered through Everyone work. should. So, yeah. not just a you thing. Anything else? Minimum monthly expenses that you have to pay for. Well, uh, gas, driving gas. How much do you spend on average? Mm. Let me think. About maybe, I would say, 100 a month. I'll drive a Corolla. <laughs> so, your minimum monthly payments on your debts are more than your rent. It's <laughs> crazy. Uh oh. It's looking dangerous. Ooh. Seeing those numbers? Not looking great. Bring in $2,800 a month, but your minimum in order to survive is $2,184.50. Mm-hmm. Minimum to survive. Minimum. So that's yeah. not you doing anything. That's not having any paid for fun. Yeah. That's not even you going to therapy, which you should. Mm-hmm. That's not you paying more on your debts. That's just uh, good, like, good luck. Yeah. To survive. Also known as 78% of your post-tax income. Bad. <laughs> That's your needs category. Seventy percent. Mm-hmm. It should cap out at fifty percent. You shouldn't even get it to fifty percent. Yeah. It should be like thirty-five, forty percent total. Max at fifty. Mm-hmm. And you're at eighty percent basically rounded. Yeah. So That's, yeah. Disgusting. But how many hours a week do you work? It's full time, so forty. Okay. And you have a nice new lovely car that you love. Uh, the Outlander? Yeah. Um, yeah, this, yeah, it goes back to like how we had everything joint. Um, we kind of go back and forth on who drives the Outlander. Um, who she doesn't have, like, have a car? So it's mainly her car, but like I drove it here mean, what today. What does that mean? That, yeah, it gets, it gets complicated. So whenever her, Oops, so her, making it complicated. that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to like, un like we're trying to kind of separate it. Um, cause her car died. Um, and we were going back to work in February, so we need so she can get to get a car. Um, and she like sometimes drives my Corolla to work, and I'll drive the Mitsubishi. And the Mitsubishi was like the cheapest option that we had found at the time. That's an SUV. Um, SUV, yeah. Um, so that's so we're both paying into that, paying off that car. That's why like a lot of the minimum payments are kind of shared, and that's where it's complicated. No, it shouldn't. It should. Shouldn't. No, yeah, no, no, no more, no more, yeah, no that's, more. Yeah, that's where we're get, That's God. where we're getting out of. Okay, what I need you to do when she's not using the car, I'm okay with letting her use the car. Yeah, ever pitching for gas, but no more paying on the like the pay, paying the monthly payment. We I guess we would split. We're splitting that too. We'd no, split it down evenly. No. But yeah, yeah. She can ch- 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 chip in towards gas and maintenance mm-hmm. and stuff like that because she's using the car. But stop. Yeah. What I need you to do, I'm glad the income's going up relatively soon. Yeah. What I need you to do to get out of this bad situation because this is rough. What's your retirement at right now? I mean, you're 22, you're young, uh, so that's great. But. It's uh, maybe like the, I have a Roth 401k and a Roth IRA. Mm-hmm. I think the Roth IRA is at like 2500 and a Roth 401k is at 7000 Okay. Yeah. So like 9000 Yeah. For 21, I mean, or 22, that's... I started... It's an encouraging start. I started early, yeah. What's bad is the hole you're in at... Thirty-one thousand dollars of debt, mm. none of which are student loans. So none of it was like a return on investment from a degree or anything. Like yeah, that. all this is just really bad depreciating car, bad credit cards, blah blah blah. A car that doesn't even exist, debt, bad. <laughs> it's not a good place to be at your early twenties. Because what I wish you were at was zero debt, maybe some student loans at low interest, four percent or less, and then we're just. In our yeah. best decade of our life of investing for compound growth. That's yeah. where I was at. But we have to clean this up and then we can start going crazy yeah. towards retirement. But what I'm going to recommend now is the part that's not fun. You already know. No more pay yeah. for fun. Which is fine. All this stuff. Yeah. But the part that's not fun, 40 hours a week. Awesome. It's 60 hours a week now because you're working in a second job. Yeah. I mean... It- um, Take advantage of that free coffee, dude. Get yourself caffeinated and yeah. go to the next one. I guess, yeah, it is. Um, it's kind of weird with being, the assist, being an assistant manager because you're technically 40 hours. But we yeah, but didn't you just say you're about to be a full-time manager? Once you're full-time, um, it's like you're technically we're supposed to work 40 hours, but n- no some manager that I know ends up working 40 hours. Then it's always like you end up working like 50 hours. And do you get paid 45. more for that still with uh, a full no, manager? No, would it be in salary now? Okay, what I still need yeah. you to do... What uh, your income will go up for that situation, but what I need you to do because six hundred fifteen dollars a month extra, like not even in take, taking into account any growth in interest. I mean, that's gonna take you uh, fifty months to pay all this off, 
And so that's four years, two months. Hmm. Four years, two months of not going out to eat once, not going out for coffee yeah. once, not doing any trip, not doing anything like that. That's crap. Not the life I want you to live at all in your younger years. I don't think I can f- that we should find this acceptable. Yeah. So we're going out anytime you're done with work. Let's say you finish around dinner time. Well, what do you think the hours are? Well, for a traditional store manager, what are they? Uh, usually like 7 a.m. to 3 or like sometimes. If, yeah. Beautiful. Like least, 3. Yeah. So then you go from uh, yeah, Dallas area, large city. Mm. Yeah, go into the hot spot and the money spot, and from four to seven, DoorDash. we do, do DoorDash, Uber Eats, and we deliver some dinners, and we bring in an extra, even if you just double this, even if you bring an extra 615, you take that from four years to two years. Mm. That's incredible. Yeah. What progress? And you can go even more, because your income will go up for the new position, mm-hmm. and you could DoorDash even a little longer. There's also you like know? quarterly bon- bonuses that we got. Go around the college area and quarterly bonuses. Go yeah. around the college area, do later in the day. Mm-hmm. So just sacrifice for, at that point, what well, could be a year and a half, maybe even a year if you go insane, Yeah, which is a good insane. And at that point, you're in such a good place where you're like 23, 24. 23, 24, you save up a full emergency fund. And then I think your emergency fund, honestly, is like twelve thousand bucks at this point. You don't yours. Yeah. You don't need more than that until your lifestyle increases. Now you talked about saving up a bunch of money. I would save up seven hundred dollars before I start aggressively paying off this debt because what that gets you to is about the two thousand two hundred dollars you need to survive for a month. So if something crazy happens and you can't work for a whole month, you have what's there to survive for a month while you do something else to get another job or whatever it could mm-hmm. be. So that's what I do. I wouldn't go much higher than that before you start aggressively paying off these debts because the interest rates on these cards and the interest rates kicking in in September, you know, and depreciating assets like a car. At an interest rate that it's not the mo- it's not like the insane ones that we see, but it's also not like four percent, five percent or less. Yeah. You're at that seven percent basically. We need to start tackling this immediately. So, really, from right now, what what your future depends on is how you're managing your money, how you build your budget. Do you cut back on all the other fun things? Do you stick to the strict budget? Do you work extra and bring in some more money? If not, if you cut back on everything and you don't bring in more money by working extra, again, four and a half years, years, it's going to be like five years after the fully funded emergency fund, which is an emergency if you don't have it. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's still a continuation. That's just over four years to get out of debt and then you got to get the emergency fund. But let's say you don't bring in more money and you still go out to eat here and there. You take a trip here and there and stuff like that. Then you extend the situation, what, like six years, seven years total? I mean... At that point, you have lost your best decade of compound growth, and you're in the position that no one like me and every uh, anyone who's above you know above your age can ever go back to. You are in the only time you can be in this time. Yeah, because time just goes forward. <laughs> so take advantage of it. Take advantage of it, dude. Such an incredible opportunity. Do not let it just go by because you want to sacrifice a little bit of time of not working your butt off because you want to go out to a restaurant and stuff like that. Just go crazy. Go crazy. And if you guys get married, you can we, you can do a nice ceremony after this, but you just get the paperwork, combine your income, pay off all the debts of the relationship. That mm-hmm. dual income helps. So, yeah, that's... So that all that I gave you, all these numbers, that is the combined. That it is all under, under my name, but that is the combined. So she doesn't debt. have that. Yeah, that is that is everything that we so both occur. In I wouldn't say get months. married just to take advantage of her yeah. income. You guys obviously love each other, and that's yeah. great. And there sounds like there's a future that we want to have together. Yeah. So that's great. But with that, then we can actually talk about the we aspect of it. Mm-hmm. What you guys have been trying to do, what you shouldn't be doing yet. Yeah. But if you just go to the courthouse, you know, like fifty bucks, get that certificate signed, whatever it is. You know, nice little family dinner, something like that, yeah. whatever. Ceremony yeah. in a few years. You guys could tackle this so freaking quick. That's, so freaking quick. So, yeah. so that's what we talked about. So we plan on tackling it together. How does she feel about putting a lot of her money towards the debt? Oh, she's on board. She, because yeah. we both, like, we both, like, consciously, like, racked up all this debt and we're both willing to pay off the debt together. Because, like, we bo- both of, like, all the debt was things that happened to both of us individually. 
Um, and the best way to get out of it is to like tackle it together. She, that's why she was like, she would send me like her paycheck and she was using one of the credit cards whenever she needed anything. Um, that's why she would send me all the paycheck and I would pay off the credit card. So that was the plan. So now with the debt being 8,000 and what we bring in together is when I go back to work is like 1500, like don't do it before you're married though. Um, you should not be throwing so, away her money to something that's not legally binding. Yeah. So that's why we're just both paying it off. And then we're like going like individual, having our finances individual. And then after the emergency fund, you guys should save up to get her like a $10,000 car squeeze again. Upgrade that a few years down the road. But because we live in the United States and public transportation outside of a few major cities is a joke, we essentially have like the worst tax in the United States is you are forced to have a car Mm -hmm. in order to operate in society. Yeah. Because that's just how we've built our zoning and our infrastructure. We do need to get her a car, so there's just a little more independence and stuff like that. Unless you guys are fully worked out on the one car, then perfect. That's fine. But we have two cars. You do have two cars. Yeah, Why is she I using said, your car so much? Um, I said we have two cars. We have the I have the we have the Corolla and the Outlander. Well, why is she using your car so much? Be- oh, the Corolla exists. Yeah, the Corolla exists. Oh, with the two thousand dollar loan. For some reason, I thought in my mind that it was no. You yeah, it about exists. A wreck. It, 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 sorry, uh, the wreck was what I ended up using. What I had as an emergency fund to get the Corolla because I had totaled a car. Oh, yeah. I thought the so the Corolla, Corolla exists. Totaled. So we have two cars. Um, okay. And that's why we are both paying off the Outlander because um, that's the second car. And by the way, these debts with where they're at, with where the interest rates at, I would do the snowball method over the avalanche method. Avalanche works in some cases. Snowball tend to work, tends to work better for the cases of people mm-hmm. who are on this show uh, because of where the interest rates are on yeah. those heavy ones. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I would just do smallest to biggest. Yeah. So it just depends what you guys do, what you're willing to cut back on, what mm-hmm. you're willing to do, actually getting married, sealing that seal, all these different things. It's all up to you guys now in terms of what you're going to do. Yeah. I want to hear... How the next few years look for you guys? Um, so we both kind of are thinking and planning of leaving Dallas and leaving Texas, going to Pacific Northwest or anywhere that's not in Texas. Just being in Dallas and where we are is just too close to home. Um, and with the house, so again, um, with the house being a mortgage, yes, it's under her parents' like name. Um, oh, I forgot about they that. bought the mortgage, but it's technically like her house because she. It's technically not. Yeah, house. it's yeah. Sorry, it's technically not her house. Um, but because of like her situation with um the medical debt, the plan was for her to file for bankruptcy, eventually, and that's why we're not getting married. That's why the house is under their name. They're trying to get as little assets under her name. Jeez, it's yeah. That's a whole mess. Um, so trying to get as little assets under her name. But the, our plan is to either rent out the house or sell the house and move outside of Texas. And then the so is it going to get in her name eventually? Yeah, we've talked about like moving the title. Um, okay. Once all that is sold, because it's questionable after it's, the sale and stuff like that. So. It's yeah, it's it's um, it's messy. Oh, this is a big question mark. This whole thing's a big question. Yeah, it's yeah. No, I agree. Um, but for now, what we're tackling for this year, the plan is to pay off all the debt, pay off. We're aiming to also pay off the out the twenty thousand dollar car loan by the end of the year with how much we both bring in, and how minimum our rent is yeah so that's the plan for Bilal it's a troubling bad debt situation for his age we need him to get out of it now save up that emergency fund now and start investing now I'm very glad with where his retirement as is right now so that's what's going to contribute heavily to his hammer financial score uh, for any kind of points. Before that hammer financial score, budget, 0 out of 10. There was no budget and happening. Spending within a budget, everything he was overspending and losing interest on credit cards. Debt, 1 out of 10. He's only going to get a point because no IRS debt, no collections. So a little bit there for him. Retirement, 4 out of 10. Halfway decent spot for his age. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad he has started. Uh, emergency fund, there's a little bit of money there, two out of 10, nothing crazy. And real estate, I mean, I can't count that last thing they were talking about. There's there's, there's no real estate, especially under his name or even close to under his name. Zero out of 10, aggregate down, hammer financial score, 1.5 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below and don't forget to like me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.